students welcome back to digitalk in this session i am going to cover a few important topics that is specifically uh, related with the node manager okay what are the different uh, configurations and the default configuration files that has been created when we create a domain okay and what all the files that have been created once we start up the services first time okay and then how we can change the different configurations like how we can change the port of the node manager and what uh, are the things that and that you need to take care when you are doing such kind of a configuration changes with respect to the node manager okay so what i will do i will just quickly create a domain okay and from initiating initiating from the domain i will tell you some important configurations that we need to be follow and what are the different options that we get when we uh, go for the configurations of the domain right and we configure the different parameters of the node manager so now here you can see that the configuration wizard for the domain has been initiated so let me give the location for my domain click next okay we have to go with the default uh, template for the weblogic server which is the basic weblogic server domain and then let us give some important parameter which is username and password so i am going with the same username and let me specify the password weblogic 123 okay and then i am going to create in the development mode click next so I have to modify certain configurations and I will create a managed server as well. So I'm selecting all the topologies. Okay, so I will go with the default admin server name and default port. So now this is one of the important configuration uh, with respect to the node manager. Okay, so this node manager will be a per domain default location. That means this will be a per domain based node manager. That means if you have multiple domains in a single machine, then for each and every domain, you will have a separate node manager. Okay, so early in the earlier versions of the weblogic, okay, prior to 11G and some sort of versions of 11G, uh, there was a single uh, node manager for the host. That means there were only one node manager running on the host and then uh, irrespective of the number of domain you have in that particular host. Okay, and that node manager was controlling all of the domains that you have in that particular host. Okay, but now from 12C onwards, we have a feature where every domain will have own node manager and the configuration will reside inside the domain of the uh, that particular uh, node manager and the domain right so here we will specify the username and password for the node manager okay so let me give the same username and password which i have given for the admin server so this is the best practice that we follow okay and then let me add a managed server i will go with the default name and default port select next I am not going to create any cluster. Next, so server table, I will skip. Machine, uh, let me add a machine. So I will go with the default name. It will be run on localhost. And then port, I will go with the default 5556. Okay, and then what I will do, I will assign this to my machine. Okay, so next, there is nothing required for virtual targets. There is nothing for partitions. So this is the configuration that we have in our domain. We will have a managed server, which we have assigned to the machine. Right, let me click on create. Okay, so it will take some time to create the domain. Okay, and after that, what we will do, I will show you certain configurations that is specific to the node manager. Right, so now you can see the domain is created. So let me go to the domain location. So this is the domain that I have created. Right, and now if I look at the configurations as of now inside the domain, so here you will have a folder called node manager. So this is also called the node manager home, which is inside the domain. If I click on the node manager, then you can see that node manager.properties file is there along with the node manager.domain. So if I open the node manager.domains, okay, then it will show you the location of your domain. So that means this file contains the information of a domain that will be controlled by this particular node manager. Okay. Along with that, if you open the node manager.properties file, this file contains some important configurations and most of the time whenever we do uh, configuration changes for the node manager then we do it in the node manager dot properties file okay so some of the important parameters are secure listener equal to true so by default the secure listener is true okay and i will show you when we will uh, access the admin console and then we will go to the machine and node manager configurations there we have a different type of node managers plain ssl okay so by default it is true okay <clears throat> and then apart from that one the default listen port is double five five six 
this is your listen address this is a default logging level of the node manager if you are going for a debugging then you can change this uh, level, level to debug or some other available log levels that is available for the node manager okay so this is as i said this is the node manager home location which will be the node manager folder inside your domain okay and this is the domain which contain uh, or, or you can say this is the file which contain all of the domains that this particular node manager is going to manage okay and this is the node manager log file so if you would like to change any of these parameters then you can modify it here and then you to restart your node manager okay but specifically if you are going to change the port here okay so after changing the port here in the node manager.properties file you have to change this particular node manager port from the admin console as well okay otherwise your admin console will not uh, knowing that you have changed the port of your node manager because this node manager is an independent utility right so every time you are going to change the port and you have to change it from the console as well so this is one of the mistake that i have seen that many engineers has done like they do the uh, port change in in the configuration files or in a reverse way do they update the node manager uh, port from the admin console and they think that this is sufficient which is not true okay so every time you are changing the node in the properties file you have to change from the admin console and even if you are changing first from the admin console similarly from the back end you have to change the port in this node manager dot properties file as well okay so let me show you that so what i will do i will go to my domain again and i will go to bin okay i will open the command prompt here and i will first start my node manager okay so you can see that node manager is started okay it is listening on the local host and the port 5556 okay and now what i will do i will start my admin server so this time i have created this uh, domain in the production mode uh, development mode so this is not going to prompt me for the username and password so when we create the domain in the development mode it will prompt you for the username and password unless you will create the boot or properties file manually okay so for that i have covered that in in multiple uh, sessions that i have posted where you have to go to the servers folder then inside the server you have to go to the admin server folder and then you have to create a folder with the name security inside security you will have to create a file called booter properties and inside that you have to define the username and password so you can see that uh, now this web logic uh, is up and running okay so now let me log into the admin console so let me access the admin console okay so i have the default port 7001 okay let me give the password logic 123 okay and before that let me go to domain and show you so uh, let me go to the node manager home again which is the node manager folder inside the uh, domain folder here you can see that uh, the log file is created if you double click on this file okay here you can see the log that is specific to the node manager right and along with that it will create some lock and id file as well that is specifically associated with the node manager okay so now let me go to that console okay so now here if i go to the environments and then i will go to the machine right so this is the machine that we have created click on machine okay and then click on node manager okay so now here you can see that this is the local host and this is the port we have in same in the configuration file as well, right? So let me go back here and you can see the listen port is double five five six, right? And this is the listen address that we have defined in the node manager properties file. And now this is as what I was talking about. So here you have a different type of node managers type. So default is SSH, SSL, secure, okay? And here corresponding uh, parameter is secure listener equal to true. Okay, so if you are going to change here if you will change it plain okay and you will save it okay then you will not able to uh, connect your node manager with the backend process of the node manager which is running there right because the type of the node manager we have changed as plain without ssl but in the properties file it is still true okay so if i go to the monitoring then you can see that it is inactive it is showing it inactive uh, however this node manager is running in the background right this is running here but your console is saying it is inactive or it is giving some exception right and the reason is that we have changed it to plain so if you would like to 
use the plane type as plane because some of the client uh, use the plane type of node manager they don't want to have ssl in place secure communication in place because this node manager is completely internal in the intranet right for certain reasons if they need to run it without secure listener then they can change it to plane but after changing it to plane what you have to do you have to change this to false as well okay so once you will make it false and restart the node manager then again you can able to test the connection so let me show you as this as well so if i change it as false okay secure listener equal to false and what i will do after that i will restart the node manager okay so let me restart it is restarted okay and let me go back and check now you can see that it is reachable okay why it is reachable because now the configuration we have made is plain okay and in the corresponding secure listener we have changes false right so this is how we uh, deal with the secure listener in the node manager and the corresponding configuration on the console right and again suppose if you are going to change the port to chill like suppose that i will give a double five five seven okay if i will save it okay our backend uh, node manager is running on the port double five five six right <clears throat> and what i have done i have changed the configuration or you can say i have changed the port number from the console as double five five seven then again it is going to tell you that your uh, node manager is inactive and it is not running right why because from the console we have changed the port to double five five seven however the back end we have the port as double five five six so what i will do let me change it to double five five seven let me save it and let me again restart my node manager <clears throat> okay so now you can see that it is started on port double five five seven and if i go back to the console now you can see it is reachable right Similarly, if you are uh, going to do the configuration in the reverse order, that means if suppose, let me change the port here. If I will change the port in the configuration file double five five six, and let me uh, restart the node manager here again. Okay. So now you can see that now my node manager is running on port double five five six. I haven't changed the con port from the con uh, admin console, but what I have done, I have changed the port in the only configuration file, which is node manager dot properties file. Now, if I will go back again to the console and I will look for the monitoring status, okay, it will show me inactive, right? Because our port here is 5557, but in the backend, we have changed it to 5556 and restarted the node manager, but we haven't changed it from the console. So, if I will change it double 5556 here, okay, then it will be reachable, right? So, this is how we deal uh, with, the, uh, with the different... Uh, important parameters of the node manager while we do the configuration of the domain and after starting the domain what is the important configuration file okay and what are the important parameters that we uh, configure and how we configure that right and apart from that i am sure you are aware about that one if you, if you are not then uh, let me explain you that as well so when we go for the restarting of our servers okay from the console okay for example if i will start this manage server from that in console then you have to make sure your node manager is up and running okay if your node manager is down you will not able to start the server from the admin console irrespective of whether where the server is running okay most of the guys are also confused here okay that node manager is only used to control the remote managed servers that is which is running on some different servers in the horizontal clustering however it is not true uh, the fact is if you would like to start the no your managed server from the this admin console then your node manager should be up and running even on the host where your admin server is running and managed server is also on the same host for example here you can see that this managed server is, is on the same local host right and if i will try to start it okay now you can see the error that i will get here so what i have done i have stopped my uh, node manager in the background okay so it is not running as of now so you can see that node manager associated with the machine is not reachable that means you need the node manager on each and every machine to be up and running if you would like to start your uh, managed servers with the help of console so now if i will go to start it again so it will 
Take some time and then you'll get a start. It will not give me any error. Why? Because I have started my node manager. Okay. So that means it will start and after it will come to running mode after some time. Okay. But different condition is then another way. If you go to start your manage server with the help of script, which is there inside your domain, right? If I go to the domain and the bin folder, so here you have a script called start managed server. Okay, this is a start managed weblogic.cmd. So if you are going to start your managed server with the help of this particular script, okay, that means not from the admin console with the help of script, okay, then this node manager is not required. Let me show you that as well. So now this is running. Let me, what I will do, I will force shut down this server. Okay. And after force shut down, what I will do, I will stop my uh, node manager. Okay, now it is down. So, in between, this node manager has shut down the managed servers. Otherwise, this could have been failed. Okay. So, let me see the status for suspending. It is still in the for suspending. Okay. So, this is one of the error that we have encountered. Okay. Or you can say it is a learning. But I have done. Uh, it was stopping the their node manager was stopping the managed server. And what I have done, I have killed that particular server from the backend. Okay, so let me see. Right, it is shut down. So by the time I have filled my node manager, it's it has shut down the server. Now you can see the status in the node manager log file. Server was shut down normally. Right. So now what I will do, I can start my server with the help of start manage weblogic.cmd as well. Right. And then I have to give the name of my manage server. This is the command. And then I have to give the admin server okay okay so i have to give this is a window machine so i have going to give dot slash and you can see that server is getting started so this is a managed server so i have to give here the username and password okay so now you can see that server is starting so as of now our uh, node manager is not running okay <coughs> And now you can see the server is up and running. So let me go to the console and show you. Okay, now you can see the server is up and running. And this time we have started the server using the script from the bin folder. And as of now, our node manager is not running. If I show you the status, that means it's inactive, right? So that means when we are starting the servers with the help of admin console, then node manager is must. And when we started using uh, the script, then node manager is not required, right? So this is all about a few important configurations and considerations with respect to the node manager. Thank you.